And the National Hurricane Center has a new product. It's a whole series of computer models that take into account the strength of a storm, how big it is, and the nature of the coastline and how deep the water is just offshore. And with this product, we're able to determine what the severity of the surge is going to be. And it's a reasonable worst case. It's basically the upper bounds of what is possible. So in the blue colors, you see the potential for one to three feet of surge. We saw a lot more of that yesterday in this area around Spring Hill and Hudson. So getting a little bit better because the storm is moving a little farther to the north. Now, as we go up the coast and take you up into the Sewanee River, uh, just remarkable flooding possible in this area. You notice, by the way, that there are areas that are gray, and those are areas where uh, inundation occurs on a regular basis. That's marshland. But let's go a little farther north, north up to the Sewanee River and look at this. So here you're seeing areas of orange and also red. The orange is six to nine feet of storm surge, and the red is greater than nine feet of storm surge, and that coming right up and along the Sewanee River and well inland by a good 25 miles. And consider that this is only talking about what's going on in the ocean. This is not considering the rain that's falling, adding to that water that's coming up in those river basins. Then we take you up into the northern part of the uh, Gulf Coast there, and here around St. Mark's, Wakulla County, this is where mandatory evacuations have been issued. In St. Mark's, talking about a storm surge potential of six to nine feet. This is gonna be very serious flooding. And sometimes it's hard to wrap your mind around what exactly that means. So we've got an illustration of what that kind of water can do. And when we're talking about a surge of one one to three feet above dry ground. Well, as that starts to come in, it's actually going to be enough to float a car. Just that little amount of surge can float a car. And when you think about water, it's got a tremendous amount of weight. A box that's one yard in cubic uh, in size, uh, one yard wide, one yard tall, is uh, actually weighs 1,700 pounds. So there's a tremendous amount of weight in water. And when you think about how many boxes, cubic yards of water you could fit into that alone, you're talking about a huge force. And so when that's moving, that's gonna grab stuff and it's gonna push it downstream. And as we take it, that water up higher, then it gets up to six feet here. Well, that's obviously above most people's heads at that point. If you were in your house, you'd have to go to an upper level or get on top of the roof. You've got all this debris that's coming around in the water as well and you're getting a lot of rushing so storm surge is incredibly dangerous it is the most dangerous part of a tropical cyclone and half of the people that are killed by tropical cyclones are killed by the water so it certainly is of great concern to us and again in this particular case we're talking about some storm surge values around st mark's and some other areas getting up to six to nine feet look at the height of that look at where that is so obviously you don't want to be anywhere near that because also you can add wave action to that and uh, a lot of flow, a lot of movement in that water. This is a huge concern across the uh, Florida Gulf Coast tonight.